love to debate the news here and sometimes, let us just say, things can get a little bit heated, whether it's Trump or Brexit or the bedroom tax, even comedy, we've had arguments about the lot. I mean, look, it's only three years ago that we're all just we Charlie, right? Charlie Hebdo, the Prophet Muhammad and all that. And the world rallied around the pen is mightier than the sword. And suddenly we're not allowed to tell jokes about, about stuff that offends us. It's nonsense. Recently, you know, we had Count Dankula who taught his dog to do the Nazi salute. And everyone came down on that. Do you know who actually censored humour? Real Nazis. Adolf Hitler executed people who made no, jokes about him. No, there's a big him. difference. No, there is there's not. A big no, there there's is a not. big difference. No, there is not. There's and, a big and difference. And Kim Jong-un has a, has a list of state-approved jokes. The Communist Party banned jokes against them. Are we really venturing into a sort of society where we no, are... No, that's the censored? cheapest no, argument. No, it's not. It is not. You bring up the Nazis and everybody shivers. This is about You're allowed to be taste. offended, but they're you... allowed to offend you. No, you why don't have your, a duty. Why does your Actually, freedom of speech... there's no duty Why does your offend. freedom of speech there's trump no, Trump? There's no duty on any of us to offend. There's no inborn duty on every human to insult whoever they want. That's not the point. It's comedy. No, no. Comedy should be sacrosanct. It if should you're be funny, protected. you can be funny. And if you find it offensive, that's your right. If you want to ban them from a It's not about rights. That's their it's right. It's about it being sensitive. Free speech about, is, should be sacrosanct oh, oh, and immovable. Oh. Yeah, then joke but, um, about dead babies. Why not? Frankie Boyle does. Yeah, don't and go it's to wrong. His, don't He's go, wrong to do so. Don't go to He's his He's wrong gigs. to his. The question is still, is he a national treasure or an embarrassment? The fact is... You either focus on what he is doing and how well he's accomplishing it and he's living up to his promises, or you sit there and you pass judgment because you don't like his behavior. Terry, uh, he's not living up to his promises. What he's doing at the moment in America is he's borrowing money, driving the taxpayers into Terry. debt so that he can give tax breaks to big corporations. Uh, He's an intellectual pygmy, isn't he? Let's it, face it. Terry, Hang on, this is no, my no, turn no. now. I know, no, no. but you're you misinformed. You're oh, I'm mis not. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm going on what I'm seeing. Make America great again. What he means is make America white again. He does things differently. What does that mean? And a lot of the rhetoric is this right-wing nonsense. And uh, this idea of it is making Americans walk tall again, I think that tells you more about the particular Americans and what's going on in their head who are walking tall because it's your redneck types, isn't it? No, and, and what's interesting about it, but Jan only a year ago, you were slagging him off. You were slagging him off and now you're like March violets all going, on, Jan. No, like it, you know siding what? with the school bully. You want to understand why he says fake news it's because he is repeating no only, no uh, Terry, i'm repeating what i've seen that that's exactly what i was going to say uh, what You're, i've seen what i've read you that is exactly what, what i was going to say well but there you go where's where you get harvard, your information from he says you're wrong harvard did a study they do this every month yeah that 93 percent of the news about Trump is negative. They don't talk yeah. about his deservedly so all you're doing is continue I hate him uh, fine, hate him, hate him all you want. We are where we are, that's very true, but everything that everybody ever said about the EU has come to pass, which is that they really, really were gonna make it difficult for us from the very beginning, and therefore what you need is to be able to walk away. If you had, if you were getting in a, in a divorce, Hang on. in all a right. divorce, I'll let you come back so in, in, my, in my all relationship right. world, if you have, you know, you've got a couple, they're divorcing, and they, you have one magnanimous side that says, that's fine, you can, you can keep the CDs, you can keep the cookery books, you can keep the car, but after we're divorced, I want to be able to decide who you have sex with for the rest of your life. You wouldn't have... That's the deal that we've got. That is the deal that's we've the got. That's the deal we've got, Dan. Well, exactly. That's why those of us wanted to remain said, let's not do this disaster. So we were told... But the relationship about the was EU, very... We the... David David said, I'm going to fly to Berlin, have a few cocktails, we're going to sort it out. It's going to be easy. We were told it was going to be... We were told I, I think, I think we genuinely so thought that they would play the ball. They well, really they, would. So we but they we, have, they have know, done exactly what they've we, always done. We want done. full access to your market so we can produce loads of really cheap stuff, which doesn't meet your safety standards, and just hurl it across the Irish they, border. They have and they're played, like, not going to happen, They dude. have played into our hands in the sense that... That, they have shown exactly why we wanted to leave. They're too yes, controlling. But that's right, but they're we, too controlling. We were, we were that's what we wanted exactly. to get away so from. It sounds like they're getting a divorce so right now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I agree. So in that case, you have the CD. So you have the car. In that case, so let's just leave. So let's let's burn well, it all down. We, let's leave completely. Let's Lucy, stop a big could, old Irish border. Do, can it. you see a case now for saying, in, in your terms, 
they've behaved in such an appalling way, we're actually going to leave, just leave, with walk no out deal. the front door. With no deal. With no right. deal. I actually think, psychologically, think better. I feel that that would be better. Clean slate. We are an island nation after well, we're not, all. Again, we're not and actually. Some... We're not. We have a land border with the EU. That's the problem that you guys didn't realise before. We have a land border. Dominic Raab didn't know we had a Calais Dover But link, nevertheless, we you guys still did not have, we have we an island EU. mentality. Well, that's right. Means... We have an island mentality, but we're not an island. That was the problem but with this whole can, thing in the first we place. Can, we can survive survive and thrive. Yay, we can survive. And thrive My and grow. Mommy and Daddy and are really grow. angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> right. Okay. First of all, I, I can't understand it. What kind of person complains about aggressive begging? That's what's annoyed me is, okay, if it's physical, I understand that. But if someone's pleading for a little bit of cash that you have uh, in your hand when you're paying your parking ticket and someone says, oh, I need, I need some cash, please, I need a drink. Who go then goes, finds the number from a department in a council to complain? What kind of person does oh, that? I, because these people... Don't you understand, Larry? Well, I've got, I've got, got some... Nothing. I've got um, a set of uh, traffic lights near where I live, very busy road, and there is organised begging at the traffic lights. Now, five years ago, we didn't have this. Last year, we now have this. And they are teams and they are what look to be Roma gypsies. Now, I do know somebody who phoned the local police and said, because these people, it is organised. The police said, yes, it is a criminal operation, but no, begging is not a criminal offence, therefore they cannot arrest. It's a civil offence. And there's no point in them cautioning them because they don't speak any English. So it's whether they're we... They're trying to wash your windscreen, is No, 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 they're just with... They, they are disabled. They have been trafficked, clearly, over to the UK, and they're working to earn money for some gang boss. Now, this is... It's like living in Slumdog Millionaire. I don't want to live in a city where well, you've got that because that's 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 not what Britain should be. I think there's a difference between genuine homeless and people who are, are, are begging for money for drugs, for example. There's another person who sits next to a phone box. Um, I would have said he's near the phone box so he can phone his dealer when he gets enough money. I don't choose to fund the international criminal world. Does so I don't give money. That's phone box. Of course they do. That's what's a, what's a phone no, box? No, no, because, no, 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 no. I'm, every person no. who's begging for cash No, is a I didn't head. say every. But if I look at this yeah, young person, they like are. It. No, I'm not. So but I think we have, to, we have to be honest and we can all be bleeding hearts and say how awful. But actually, there, is, there are criminal operations going on. Yeah, homelessness and that is a be fundamental problem. Problem in Great Britain. There are homeless people oh, there are. I'm not in the there UK are. who are legitimately on the streets because they've come to a point in their lives where they can't afford to live. Yes. It's not because they're in a gang and it's all about drugs. Well, that's, that's maybe a very you don't, small, maybe you don't very live where portion. I live. I know what that, I see. Well, you, that's a very small portion of people. I don't think that it's that small. I think a, it's, a it's a Roman Egyptian gang for drugs. If, what, that's a huge sweeping statement. No, 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 no. I haven't said all. The other thing, the great part of our system in this country is the constituency surgery. Week in, week out, people come to see me who lead lives that are much harder than mine, mm. and I am their champion. Do you My feel greatest... guilty you've made their lives harsher? Now, you, you, are, you had a very lucky throw with a DNA dice, born into, you know, into privilege, you've sustained your privilege, you've made millions as a you know, city slicker, and yet you, as a lawmaker, an MP in Parliament, You've reduced tax credits, you've made the welfare state harder, you've starved the NHS of funds, you've introduced uh, the bedroom tax, you've taken away job rights, you've had a go at the pensions uh, and pay of nurses and teachers and uh, police uh, officers and firefighters. Do you feel any guilt uh, about that or, or uh, do you think uh, that's, I, I dispute, you know, that's a cost for them to bear? No, 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 I, I, I completely dispute this analysis. I think that is an analysis of cloud cuckoo land. That, um, what? You, you the, didn't the, reduce the bedroom the, tax. The, Did you um, introduce the bedroom the, tax, yes or no? Well, in, Did you in introduce terms, the bedroom tax, yes or no? In terms the answer's of, yes. In terms of my constituency... But it's up to it. You did. The issue that I have is people coming to see me who are squeezed in the housing that they are in, in social housing, and people um, have a spare room that they don't need. Okay, and Jacob, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Fair I, we've got people a... who are squeezed in were helped, and well, I think the spare room right. subsidy was you, you a perfectly reasonable thing. disabled families, people no, okay. all the right. the, the we've disabled, got a whole load of policies. The disabled then. were exempt, um, and the over 60s were exempt. It was a very well calibrated policy okay, Jacob. to help ensure people had the right, right. accommodation.